Hi, my name is Tom Hadigan. I'm the author and creator of this new YouTube channel dedicated to mixed martial arts and boxing. Today I'm looking at the UFC matchup, UFC 309 matchup between Jones and Miocic. Jones is the current heavyweight hold, title holder. He's also considered by me and many others to be the greatest ever mixed martial artist. Miocic is the ex two time holder of the World Heavyweight Championship. I'm considered by many to be the greatest ever heavyweight titleist. So it's an interesting matchup. So this is John Bone Jones. I consider to be the greatest of all time. This is uh, John Bone Jones, a light heavyweight and heavyweight champion. This is um, John, Bo's, John Bone Jones during his matchup with uh, Cyril Garn. Um, he won the World Heavyweight Championship. You know, as a result of this matchup, uh, Cyril Garn is a kickboxer um, and totally out of his depth. Uh, it, it's almost impossible to be a kickboxer and then be su be successful against somebody like Jones. Jones is the consummate grappler, wrestler, boxer, striker. He has it all. I mean, he would he would beat most opponents in my view. Certainly, he would beat uh, Garn very easily, which he did. So, John Bone. Jones has the most amazing record. Let's just have a look. Forget the second fight, which he lost on a disqualification. He used some uh, elbow strikes, which was deemed by the USC to be illegal then. So he lost that fight. Um, some people have tried to reverse that decision, but it still remains a loss at this moment. But in his 13th fight, 13th fight he beat Ryan Bader, who went on to become a heavyweight champion in another organization. He took the, the championship from... Rua, who's an outstanding MMA practitioner. He then beat Quinton Jackson, also outstanding practitioner. He beat the ex-world champion Lyoto Machida. He then beat Rashid, Rashad Evans, who's a good, good practitioner, never became a world title holder, but very formidable, um, formidable uh, athlete. Beat Victor Belfort, beat Charles Sonnen, uh, now retired, but a great journalist and um, a great broadcaster. He then went on to beat Gustafsson. Many people think that that was not a clear victory for John Jones. I think it was Gustafsson's greatest ever night, and some would make the case that he beat Jones. He then went on to beat Glover Teixeira. Teixeira came back many years later to win the light heavyweight championship. He then uh, matched up against his nemesis, Daniel Cormier, he won the first fight. Um, he um, won the second fight, but it was deemed to be a no contest because of um, positive uh, metabolites that were found in his body. The, the Cormier became the champion. Uh, Cormier then vacated the title and uh, Jones beat uh, Gustafsson to take the vacant light heavyweight championship. He then defended it against uh, Smith. He then had a very challenging fight against Santos. Um, and I think Santos on that evening was quite unlucky. He then had a matchup against Reyes, Dominic Reyes. Many people think Reyes won that fight. And then he had an easy victory over Silgane. This is an amazing record. You know, every single fighter here is actually an extraordinarily talented MMA practitioner. There's not one easy fight here for Jones. So John Jones is widely regarded as the greatest mixed martial artist of all time. Um, he has an amazing reach and agility. He has this sort of genetic advantage. He's very tall. His uh, arms are very long. His legs are very long. He has great resilience and mental fortitude. He's a tough guy. He has a diverse range of fighting techniques. He knows how to plan games and adapt his strategies uh, midway through a fight. He always has this significant edge in striking exchanges because of his physical advantages. And because of his wrestling background, he has uh, grappling and takedown skills, which are always superior to his, to his opponents. Mentally a tough guy, has great focus under pressure, and he, because of his uh, CV, his track record, he has he's had years of competition at the highest level and considered to be the greatest fighter in MMA history. So what can we say? Well, his ability to seamlessly integrate various martial arts styles sets him apart. 
and he has one of his greatest strengths is his ability to adjust his strategy mid-fight. He has exceptional reach. That gives him a great advantage. That's 84.5 inches. Uh, but his background in wrestling provides a solid base for his grappling game. So he can take people down and he can just control them at ease. He's that skilled. But his mental fortitude is evident in high stakes situations where many fighters falter. Jones has very, very honed skills and instincts. So we can say as a two division UFC champion and record holder, Jones's achievements have solidified his place in MMA history. His legacy continues to inspire future generations of fighters. This is the ex two time world champion, Stipe Miocce. Stipe Miocce is a really interesting guy. Um, based in Cleveland, Ohio. He's very much part of the community there. He's actually, I think he sees himself as a full, as a part-time firefighter and also as a part-time um, MMA practitioner. Now, having successfully defended his title four times during his two title reigns, he holds the record for the most wins in heavyweight title fights. And he has the longest title defense streak in heavyweight division. He had three successive defenses. But the most interesting thing is he holds the record for fight night bonus awards. He has nine of them, and that's the most in the UFC heavyweight division's history. His real strength comes from the fact that prior to his MMA career, Miocic was a Golden Gloves boxing champion, a very high level boxer, and an NCAA Division One wrestler, a very high level wrestler. So this is Stipe. This is Stipe in one of his trilogy fights against Daniel Cormier. This is Stipe, the up and coming, much uh, anticipated fight against John Jones. This is Stipe against Angano. He had a slightly fortuitous win early on and he had a devastated loss later on. This is Stipe versus Daniel Cormier in one of his trilogy fights. So Stipe has a good record as well. Um, He's fought some really outstanding individuals. Surprisingly, he lost to Stefan Struve. Um, he uh, lost to Junior Dos Santos. He beat Mark Hunt, a great MMA practitioner. Beat the ex-world champion Arlovsky. Beat the then world champion, the current world champion, Wordham, to win the UFC Heavyweight Championship. Defended it against a great fighter, Overeem. Defended it against the ex-world champion Dos Santos. Then uh, one against Francis Ngannou. That was a surprise to everyone. Everyone thought that Ngannou would just run through him and just knock him to smithereens. He didn't do that. He then lost his first fight to Cormier, won the return, and then won the decider before losing his last fight um, to Francis Ngannou with a devastating knockout. Now, that was in 2021. We're now in um, 2024. And he hasn't fought since. So it's going to be quite a challenge, I think, from Miocic to, to deal with John Jones. So let's have a look at Miocic. He's a former UFC heavyweight champion. He's a good boxer, great boxer, striking accuracy. He does have these issues of age and weaknesses and injuries. But his experience and his technique make him a formidable fighter. So we can look at the following points. We know exceptional boxing skills, boxing background, exceptional wrestling skills, wrestling background. He has impressive cardio. He doesn't cardio. He doesn't match Merab's cardio. He's a skilled striker. He does have age-related challenges, a lot of injuries. He does have abilities to technically to change his tactics. So we know he has exceptional boxing skills. He has very strong wrestling background. He has an impressive cardio. He has a very high striking accuracy. He does have some age-related uh, challenges, almost 40. He does have a history of uh, injuries, which uh, impacts his training and readiness. He's technically adapt, uh, adept and he knows how to adapt. So it's gonna be a great fight.